Today in 2008 Chrysler Aspen, we're going to install part number C55597 from Kurt. This is a Kurt T connector wiring harness. First thing we need to do is go ahead and open up the back hatch and get access behind the taillights. There are two plastic rivets on each taillight that we have to remove so we can take off the taillight. We pull out the center pair of pliers and they come right out. We'll set the fasteners off to the side and we'll go ahead and pop the taillight loose. Next we need to disconnect the wire harness. There's a small red lock on the inside that we have to release first. Then we can go ahead and push down on the tab to pull away from the taillight. We're done for driver's side. We'll go ahead and repeat for the passenger side. Next we can go ahead and start installing our T-connector. We're going to take our four bolt, run it through the opening behind the bumper cover and blow the tail light on the driver's side. We'll take the wire box and run it down below as well. We'll also take the T-connector with the green wire and do the same thing. Now the T-connector with the yellow wire will keep up towards the top and we'll plug that into the factory wire harness. Next we'll go ahead and run our T-connector with the green wire across the other side and up into the passenger tail light. We'll run it up into place and make our connection to the factory wire harness there. At this point, we can go ahead and just reinstall the taillights. And then we'll take our power wire and add that on. Our power wire is a large bundle wire that comes with the kit. And we'll add a butt connector to it from the kit. We'll connect that to the black wire on the wire box, and then go ahead and tape our connector to seal it up. We'll leave that wire alone for now, and we'll go ahead and mount the wire box to some sheet metal behind the fender. We'll clean off some sheet metal, and we'll also clean off the wire box. We'll put the adhesive on one side, and then attach it to the sheet metal. At this point, we can go ahead and secure the rest of our wires to make sure they're bundled up nice and neat and out of the way. Now, we'll also take our four pole wire harness and route that towards the center of a hitch. What we're going to do is use some zip ties and secure the green wire going across. We'll make sure we stay up away from the exhaust as well so we have something to attach the wire to. Now, we'll continue on with our black wire. We have to run that up to the battery. Now, in this case, we were able to fish wire most of the wire through the frame, up through the engine compartment. We went ahead and pulled the wire up towards the fuse box. We also drilled a hole to secure our wire with a zip tie. Then we ran our wire to the battery lead-in to our fuse box. We cut our wire to length. Next, we'll take our fuse holder and add it. We'll connect the buck connector to the power wire that I ran from the rear. One end of the fuse holder will connect to a black wire. The other end will get the ring terminal. And then go ahead and tape our connector to seal it up. We'll go ahead and connect it to the lead-in in our fuse box. We'll take off one of the nuts, put a ring terminal in place, and then fasten the nut once more. And then we'll go ahead and add our fuse to the fuse holder. At this point, we can go ahead and close the lid for the fuse panel. And it's a good idea to zip tie any additional wires that may need some attention. Then we'll go ahead and try out a wire harness with a light tester first before trying it on a trailer. We'll take our ground lead from our tester and attach it to the white wire. Next we'll go ahead and test the brown wire for our running light signal. Then the yellow wire for our left turn signal. And green for our right turn signal. And our brake signal will be a solid green and yellow. When everything checks out, then we can go ahead and try it on a trailer. And with that, they'll finish it for our install of part number C55597 from Kurt on this 2008 Chrysler Aspen.